a TikTok entanglement. He was very flirtatious, so let me see like if I can maybe find him. This woman wanted to find a mystery man she met on the beach. She found him all right, and his wife. He's now clearing things up with the shade room after it nearly ruined his marriage. What's going on, guys? You already know it's your boy, M to the A to the C to the K-A-Y vibes. I already know I'm back again with another video. This time around, we're going to be reacting to how a viral TikTok video almost ruined a man's marriage so basically this guy went to the beach right he saw this beautiful woman not knowing that the woman is a tiktoker like i'm talking about she has millions of followers on tiktok so he started flirting with her but while he was doing that he was being recorded so he didn't know that but anyways long story short the woman posted the video on tiktok and of course it went viral and the wife got to know about it so do you guys think that's cheating or what? Let me know in the comment section. Fellas, would you do something like that if you're married? And women that are watching this, right? Let me know if you think it's cheating. And if you think it's cheating, let me know why in the comment section. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the video. But before we go any further, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff, and join the Market Vice family today. Thank you. Let's get to the video. A TikTok entanglement. He was very flirtatious, so let me see like if I could maybe find him. This woman wanted to find a mystery man she met on the beach. She found him all right, and his wife. He's now clearing things up with the shape room after it nearly ruined his marriage. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Last month, Misha Renee went on TikTok asking the world to help her find this mystery man she met in Miami in August. But things got messy when the world collectively found out who he really is. Eight million people watched Misha Renee's TikTok with the caption saying, quote, TikTok, help me find this man I met in Miami. He walked right in the ocean to introduce himself to me. I was lit when he gave me his number. I'm counting on y'all. Hopefully he ain't married. The only reason why I did it is because I was on TikTok and I seen the popular trend that was helped me find him. It was just simply just to reconnect. It wasn't anything more. Oh, but he is married for just six years, in fact, with four kids. I tracked him down. This mystery man is Aiden Giles from the Detroit area. He had no mm. idea the video was posted at first. It was his wife, Cherie, who says somebody text her about the video. We just immediately started arguing because I started immediately started cussing him out like, Bro, you really got me messed up. And I kept asking, I said, did you sleep with her? He said, no. So she messages Misha directly. I said, did you sleep with him? She said, no, we literally only met at the beach. And that was it. So I'm like, well, you looking for him this hard. Obviously, it was something to y'all. She's like, is that your man? I said, not no more. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> and then she was like, um, if you don't mind me asking, like, who are you? I said, that's my husband. She says Misha apologized immediately in their messages saying, quote, sis, I'm sorry. I had no clue something would happen. I wish the best for you and your kids. I won't be reaching out to him. I told her, I'm like, sis, you can have him. I'm good. It was disrespectful. Yes. Was it? Okay, guys. So what do you think about that, though? Do you think she was she tried to reach out to him because she missed him? Or you think she tried to reach out to him because she wanted to, you know what I'm saying, continue from where he stopped. You feel me? Because she was just saying she was just trying to reach out just to reconnect. Reconnect to do what? Let me know in the comments though. Ladies, fellas that are watching this, you know, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. So let's say the guy wasn't married. What, what do you think the this viral, I mean, this uh, big TikToker would have done with this man? Do you think she would have wanted to... Anyways, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let's continue. Cheating? No, it was not cheating. No. But it was mm. disrespectful because you're a married man. It's certain ways you move and it's definitely certain ways you don't. I did not know he was married. Had I known he was married, none of this would even be a thing. It would just be like, okay, let's move on. Because if the shoe is on the other foot. I would be pissed. You'd be mad because Ada, you know, everybody is looking and you know, not only you're a good looking guy, you got the the Miami muscles and you hugging her tight. And so everybody is looking at that. I know. And, and that's, it sucked because I knew the video looked so bad. And I told her, I wish I could put you in that moment because it was nothing like the video made it look. From her point of view, she said that you asked her for her phone number and invited her after. And then she also said that um, 
she lost your number and that's why mm -hmm. she looked to TikTok to try to yeah. find you. Yeah, honestly, no. She didn't have my number. She didn't even have my real name. I didn't even know they were recording either. So it, that threw me way off. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right, Cherie, you rolling your eyes. Cherie. <laughs> yeah. Because it's hard to say you don't you don't know someone's recording you and you posing I for really a camera. Didn't. I posed for the picture. I didn't it's pose silly. for the camera. The, because and the pic and the pic was an innocent pic. I feel like it was innocent. I understand what I'm saying. I'm not even about to get back on that topic. So yeah, she kicked me over the head. I get it. It was disrespectful for my marriage and my wife. I get it. But in my head as a man, I'm kind of like it was so little and innocent. Like, babe, it wasn't nothing like that. Cherie says it took weeks to figure things out and truly understand what happened that day. I know what type of man I married. I didn't marry a cheater. I would have never married him if he, he was a cheater. Um, but after talking mm. to my parents and praying with them and just trying like wrapping my mind around it, I, and I kept saying like, I don't want to make an emotional decision, just oh, it's a permanent decision off temporary emotions. Cherie realizing how a nine second video on TikTok can change everything. She and Aiden mm. will be starting counseling next week. Did you suggest the marriage counseling because of this situation or would you have chosen to do this if this didn't happen? This situation, it definitely, it broke the trust I have for him. Mm. So I suggested it. Aiden, what have you learned? What have you learned, sir? Oh, the number one thing, if you are a married man, please keep women six feet away from you on any beach possible, okay? I won't... Um, other couples and married couples yeah. just to see how all this unfold. Whatever y'all go through, if y'all strong enough, y'all can get through it. You know, like if you strong enough, put God first, you can get through it. Aiden says he's never been a cheater. There's never been infidelity within his marriage. He does say that he is excited for counseling and his wife, Cherie, says he really doesn't have a choice. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. <sighs> well, 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 guys, you've seen it. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. Like I said, fellas, would you do something like this if you're actually married? And my ladies are watching this video. What do you think about this? Do you, would you call this cheating though? Just that little nine second clip. Do you think that's cheating? Let me know in the comments, please. Okay, let me give my own opinion about this, right? As a married man, I feel like you should have some respect for your wife in terms of I mean, I wouldn't say that video was too bad. Don't get me wrong, because if you if you take a look at the video very well, it wasn't really too bad. I would just say the AUG was a kind of like a friendly AUG. It's not like they kissed each other or nothing like that. It was just like a little friendly AUG. And, and uh, yeah, but then again, it's always good to, um, as a married man, you should, you should set boundaries. That's what I would just say. You should have your boundaries as a married man and just know that, okay, I have this woman I'm married to and I have to respect her. Just the same way you would want her to respect you. Just the same way you would want her to accord you some respect. So it makes sense for you to do the same. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, just like you said in the video, fellas, be careful out there. You know what I'm saying? Just stay six feet. Try and stay six feet away from women when you're married. You feel me? <laughs> do you guys agree with that? Please let me know in the comments. <laughs> But I just feel like if there's trust in a relationship, man, you guys, because if if there's no trust, even if you see your partner with the opposite with the opposite uh, gender, you would feel like there's something going on. That's why you have to know your partner before you even get married to them in the first place. You have to know the person you're getting married to, because I wouldn't marry someone that I don't trust. Don't get me wrong; no one is perfect. But at least you have some sort of trust, like some, a level of trust. That level of trust will be at least about 90% before you even say, you know what, let me get married to this person. Because marriage is not just for the, it's not for short term. It's for the long term, forever. So that's why you have to know what you're doing before you get married. That's just my own opinion. And she said something about she wanted to reconnect. I'm talking about the, the TikToker. She said something about she wanted to reconnect with the guy. But do you guys think that's really what she wanted to do? And like I said before, if she had not found out that he was married, let's just say the guy was single, though. What do you think she would have done in that situation? Do you think she would have taken the step further or, or what? Because the, the the TikToker, she's beautiful. His wife is beautiful. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, leave your comments, your thoughts, all that good stuff in the comment section. Let's talk about this. And also, fellas, be careful out there. <laughs> the guy said he didn't even know it was being recorded, you know. <sighs> Well, that's it. 
So guys, that's going to be it for right now. And please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to leave my Instagram right here. Follow me and send videos that you love for me to react to. And I'll definitely check them out. And also, guys, I really want to appreciate each and every one of you for your continuous love and support. I really appreciate it. It's coming directly from my heart. I really love you guys, man. You know, I've seen all the love that you guys have showered on me, you know, in my, in my recent videos. And, you know what I'm saying? I really, really, really appreciate it. Just keep it up that way. And, uh, yeah, and I promise I won't disappoint you guys with the videos. Thank you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.